Hello, my dear friends. Okay, I wanted to get you a quick video to actually do two things. I want to make sure that you knew how to get this bar graph into Excel. Um, we'll do it more times during the term too, but I, I know we went through it kind of quick in class today. Uh, I also wanted to explain, um, Elias was talking about that 2.5% uh, that and the calculation. I'll do a quick little video at the end of this uh, showing you that, that calculation too, in case you're interested. Um, so anyway, to make a bar graph in Excel, I, I've got the, the original data here. Um, all you want to do, it, it's a little bit of a process, but it's not too, too bad. Um, you grab the data you want to graph vertically. So I'm going to grab the percentages right here. Go up to insert. And then come over here to the, it's columns or bar graph. Um, I think, uh, yeah, from what it looks like, Excel calls a column chart the vertical and a, a bar chart the horizontal. So I'm just going to go with the, the 2D column. And if you remember, that's what we did in class today. That was perfect. Now, the, the, I want to show you a couple of things you can do to, to change it to make the graph better. Um, the first thing, and I, I thought this was, uh, this was fabulous, to change the title to something that we actually need. Um, as I was doing that while I was, uh, while I was talking. I, I apologize. Um, you can just double click in it and then just change it by, by overwriting the font. So this is a number of red whoops, cards seen out of five. Five. There we go. And then just click somewhere else. And you, you might notice that you've got all these options that pop in a format chart area. I'm just going to close that for now. Um, we'll talk more about that as, as it comes. The big thing, and you all noticed it, um, was that the, uh, the horizontal axis should start at zero and go to five, not one to six. Um, easiest way I've seen to do that is just uh, right click on the chart from the menu that you get, grab select data and then just edit the horizontal and grab the ones you actually want. There you go, now you're done. Now it says zero to five. Now, there's a couple other things I like to do with bar charts, and that's to um, to edit the, I, I, I don't like it when they're spaced out like this. I'm kind of a dork, I like them, I like the bars touching each other more. So you can just right click, I guess a Macintosh would actually, um, you would double finger click on one of the bars. Not the chart itself, but the bars. And you'll notice down at the very bottom, it says format data series. And then the gap width, you can dial that down. And what happens is it makes the width in between the bars less. You can set it all the way to zero if you want to, or you can leave a little bit of space. You can bump up the percentages and leave a little bit of space between it. Uh, whatever you choose. Um, while we're in here in the format data series, you can also change uh, the color of the bars as they're filled. Right now it's set to solid fill blue, but you know, you can change it to red if you want. I bet you, you could even have some fun with the gradient and make, you know what, I'm gonna stop right there. I, I'm, I'm not gonna make this video be one of those ones where you're constantly chasing down every rabbit hole because I'm very good at doing that. <laughs> and if you want to, you totally can. Uh, you can also change the, the border on the, um, on the bars change it to a solid line and maybe make it like a, a black border. And then you can make the width of that black border uh, higher. I mean, these are all the things you can do. There's a lot of stuff you can do within that. I'm going to let you, if you want to, go in there and, and go, go uh, bonkers. You can also change the font. The title we added earlier, you can edit it like you can with any other... Um, any other font in a, in a document by bolding it or making the font size larger. There are, I believe, um, two things missing from this chart that might be good. Uh, and I believe if you, if you click on the chart and then you go to this little tiny dispensary sign out here, we can add what are called the axis titles. And what that means is we can just label what these horizontal and vertical axes are. So we can change this axis title to uh, number of red cards out of five. And honestly, now that I type that, I realize my title probably is insufficient. Or, or I shouldn't say insufficient. It's, it's redundant. It's saying the same thing that my horizontal axis says. So why don't I call this? How about percent distribution of red cards seen out of five. How about that? That's pretty good. And that way over here, we can change this access title to percent occurrence. I don't know if I spelled that right. And it's also sideways, which I hate. So I'm gonna right click on that and I'm gonna format the access title. And I'm gonna come over here. I think it's this one. 
Yeah, that's the uh, that's the text direction and make it horizontal. Now that unfortunately has it makes it uh, so that it, it shrinks the graph down a little bit, but you can just get in here and mess around with that if you want. Uh, something else you can do. I've been doing this a lot more as I get older. I I delete the scale on the um, on the actual axis and then just I right click on the bars themselves and grab add data labels. So instead of having the horizontal, the excuse me, the vertical axis over here on the left, I just have the uh, the the percentages on the um, on the bars themselves, which I think is kind of nice. And what's cool about this is now, of course, the the it's a little hard to see uh, because I have so many trials in. But those percentages are are actually changing as we uh, as we sit here and 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 re randomize. Okay, so there's your there's your intro to making a quick bar graph in Excel. In the next video, if you want to watch it, I'll show you mathematically where that two and a half uh, percent comes from.